right, so we are starting Unit 2. Unit 2 is all about dissolving and solutions. Um, this first lesson is really just an introductory so to some key vocabulary. Use this vocabulary as much as you can when doing assignments and things like that, because it's definitely going to make you more clear in what you're talking about. Um, and odds are it'll get you the points that you need versus using a less precise term. So, taking you back quite a ways to chemistry A, when we talked about different kinds of matter, all right, solutions fall down here. All right, they are homogeneous mixtures. All right, so there are separate pure substances. It might be compounds, it might be elements that are associated in the same space, but not bonded together. And it's homogeneous in the sense that everything is evenly distributed. So the, the solution itself looks the same throughout. All right, so a simple kind of example of that is if you dissolve sugar or salt in water, all right, once it dissolves, you can't see the sugar or the salt particles anymore, and the glass of water looks the same throughout. Okay? Um, first couple of key vocab words to make sure you are using. A solution is always made out of these two things. All right? So a solution is made of these. The first thing is your solute. All right? That is the substance that's actually being dissolved. So in the example of, say, salt water, salt is your solute. And then the solvent is what does the dissolving, all right? There can be more than one solute, but there's always just going to be one solvent. All right? very, very common example that we'll work with is water is your solvent, and then you're just dissolving stuff in the water. And those things that you were dissolving in the water are your solutes. So, see if you can plug in the appropriate words into these parentheses here. Alright, so if you need to, pause the video for a second. Alright. But you, your words are actually all in the sentence here. Let's just make sure that we identify them correctly. All right, so your water, all right, that's what's doing the dissolving. So that's going to be your solvent. All right, the sugar is being dissolved, or it's the thing in, in less, you have less of the solute than you do of the solute, solvent. All right, so sugar is your solute. And when you combine them and stir them together, and they become this homogeneous mixture over here, sugar water is your solution. Okay? Okay, so these are the last new vocabulary terms that I want you to get down for this lesson. Um, and these are all related to discussing what kind of solution you have. All right? Is it a concentrated solution? Is it a weak solution? Is it dilute? Um, these are all going to be terms that tie into this definition here. Concentration is a value, a number, that represents the ratio of your solute molecules to solvent particles. Okay? Solvent will always be bigger than solute. That's just the way it has to be because you need enough solvent to actually do the dissolving. All right? But if, say, you have a really low concentration of solute, all right, so say your solvent is 10 to like one solute, all right, that could, that you could think of that as a low concentration, you've got 10 times the amount of solvent to solute, all right, and you would call that dilute, and you've probably heard of dilution or diluting something before, if you add a bunch of water to something, it dilutes it because you're adding more solvent. All right. A concentrated solution, you can think of it as for your 10 particles of solvent, maybe you have eight particles of solute. All right. So you're getting closer. There's still less solute than solvent, but you're getting closer to equal numbers. It's a higher concentration, or we call it concentrated. So these last two tie into the fact that eventually your solvent will reach its capacity to actually continue dissolving the solute. 
All right, so if you are trying to make salt water, eventually you'll hit a point where the salt doesn't dissolve anymore. You've hit the saturation point or the maximum amount of salt that that water can dissolve given the current conditions. All right, so when you hit that, we call it saturated. All right, you have the exact perfect amount of solute that that amount of water or solvent can possibly dissolve. If you continue to add solute, what you will find is that the solute just sits at the bottom. All right, solute sits at the bottom, not dissolving. Which means you've put more solute in than that amount of solvent is able to dissolve. And we call that super saturated. So make sure you have these vocab terms written down, use them when you can, and when it comes to tests and quizzes, if you see these terms in question stems or answers, look back at this so that you know what they mean.